a special shout out to all my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushiga Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charm, Sam Medina, and Billionaire Overlord for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seminaries tonight. Darkness Fools Mode. If I sound a little bit loomy, it's because I took some pain meds. I pulled a muscle behind my one wing somehow, and I have no idea how I did it. Uh, I was just all of a sudden felt pain in my back. Anyways, yeah, I have been listening to you guys, and you know, I, I decided, you know, let me just take one in game day. Well, it took a little bit over. Um, just to get some clay. As you guys can see, I'm standing inside one of the farms close to the trader. And it was about five or six deep that I just went and I dug and dug and dug. And I used my shovel for all of it. So, yeah, as you guys can see, it's a massive farm that I dug out. Oh, we need to be careful of zombies now. Hello. But yeah, it's a massive farm that I dug out over here. Um, also, last episode, we got that error when trying to talk to the trader. I can't remove it and I can't give it into the trader. I'll show you guys now when I go to the trader. Um, yeah, my bike on me. Probably drive to the trade over there. I don't know if I'll be able to run because the zombies are gonna get me. Okay, we just do this. Yep, definitely five levels. But as you guys can see, it's a ton of clay. Um, and my inventory is stacked full of clay right now. So finally, we'll be able to go and make ourselves the advanced. No, I don't think we have the laborer class yet. We might be able to make the advanced um, workstations. We'll see. But I want to talk to this guy again. Let me just really take care of a few zombies. I want to talk to this trader because I want to see... I want to show you guys what I mean. Um, it says that we need to go accept the quest again. When you go over here... Tier 5 fetch. We have to go and do it again. So somehow it bugged out. I have no idea how. But unfortunately this means we have to go do the quest again. Oh, you guys know which, which skill I should actually work in? Where I have points. Yes. Um, if you go under farmer and you go into get off my land... This is a lot to do with shotgun. For example, 5% less damage, run fast while holding the gun, effective range 50% higher. If I can up that, the shotgun's gonna get way more powerful and worth using. I'm actually thinking of jumping down and trying to hit them with a laser sword. My stamina runs out really fast when I'm doing it, so I can't really afford to. Oh, what I could do is this. Any zombies that get over there, they're gonna get shot. And I do think I get the XP for it, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. Come on, get him as well. Oh, I love it when they shock like that. I love the fact that I put that on my gun. <laughs> it's so much better when you can shock them and slow them down while you're killing them. Okay, you went underneath for some reason. I want to go looting, but it's so dangerous at night time. Okay, the drone's in my way over here. Got me right there. Damn, that was a nice headshot just now. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Come on. Okay, so that should have been the last ones. I think. I think there was another one swimming over there, but we'll check. Let me just quickly grab this. Go to the trader, and then I want to show you guys this quickly. But yeah, uh, basically, even when I talk to him, it just acts like normal. When I ask for a new job, do you have any jobs? Oh, he does have a job for me, so what's this other quest then? I wonder if I shouldn't go do that quest again and try and see, but I'm only going to do, be doing quests over here. Fantastic. How are you doing it all? See, now I have two quests for him. I'm going to do redo this quest quickly and see if I can't get another one of these. And if we get another one, hopefully he actually gives, it, uh, gives, us, a re gives us the reward. When I spawned in, um, I had to try to talk to him again after that bug. He wasn't here. It's a, this is a new trader. So I wonder if my old trader got destroyed and that's why I didn't want the quest from me or what's going on. I hear more zombies. Okay, we have to go and quickly put, go to the base and just put all the clay down. Maybe be careful, there's zombies all over. But yeah, I'm going to go quickly hand this or uh, just put all my stuff down at the base. We do need to make ourselves... What's the front? That side. We need to make ourselves some uh, advanced forges. Let me just first see this. Advanced. Yeah, it's the lock. MN Forge and Advanced Forge. And both of those are underneath the Builder class. So I can't do this yet, even though I really, 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 really want to. Forge. Forge head only does. Big Forge. Yeah, you guys, unfortunately... Oh, Advanced Forge, you can. Unlocks the advanced forge. Play level 50 required. We all play level 50. I just need to level up again. Hello, zombie. I see you over here. 
So the more zombies you can kill quickly, the faster we'll be able to make ourselves that forge. The nice thing is, if I'm not mistaken, you do get your skills back, your skill points, um, when you unlock the, uh, the boulder class. Obviously, then you have to invest in those skills again under the boulder class, but hey. Let's just get back to the bike. Um, yeah, I wonder if I shouldn't go try and do it now, but it's very dangerous at night time. See, there's a tier 5 fetch. It's, it was definitely the strip place, right? So if I can go to the stripper place again and do the quest again, although I'm not sure that it gave me another quest. So we'll, we'll see now what happens if I go and try and do the free for the stripper. Fetch, active. Whoa, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. Ooh, close, but no dice. Um, where am I supposed to go now? Is this place right in front of us? But that's not the one I want right now. Where was that stripper place? Hmm. Now, if I said to find it, and since it's nighttime, it's gonna be way more dangerous out here. It was not. Oh, yeah, it's, it was past us, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of these buildings. It has to be to the right. So guys, if we can do this quest again and hand it in, that will help us. But un unfortunately, if we can't do it again, we have a problem. Oh crap. Can't get stuck, can't get Incoming stuck. Enemies. Prepare for conflict. Nah, I can't remember where it was. That's the problem right now. Um, okay guys, I'm just gonna drive around a bit and see if I can't find that strip club. It was a very big one in the main... Oh no, I think it was very close to us. It was very close to us over there. So if I go over there, because I remember that was very close to our base, that I could go and get it. So if we could really first go put all the clay down, and then head there, or perhaps stop there on the way to the base, that's gonna help. I remember when we ran away from a wandering horde, or a scream horde, I think it was, uh, we were able to quickly go in there and grabbed, uh, we grabbed everything we could. Not over here, it's gonna be over here somewhere. And we had to break into like a 10,000 HP block just to get through. So if we can do it again, that's going to help us tremendously. Pawn shop. No, it's not this one. I need to be so careful right here. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this building? No, it's not this one. It's this one. So if we can go inside there and accept another quest... But I mean, the zombies broke out over there, so we need to be careful. The sleepers in here are super dangerous. If I can activate the quest again, we might be able to do this. But there's no marker for the quest out front anymore. Okay, I think I'm going to go over to the base. Um, we'll try and see if we can't just cancel this quest. The problem is I can't take that out of my inventory now. It's filling up my inventory and there's no way for me to take it out. So that's going to be a big problem for us then. Okay, please don't tell me there's any screamers. Yeah, I still need to make myself a forge house. I think that's what we should do this episode. Instead of doing quests and stuff, let's just try and make ourselves a forge house so that we can actually go and smelt stuff. Need to be careful of wandering zombies now. We still don't have an entrance over here where we can face them. So if we encounter a ton of zombies right now, we might have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, we have to go this side. All of this should have been, yep, they definitely respawned already. Okay, I'm quickly going to cut away, guys. I'm going to drop all of this off. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't at least have one forge going for now. And if the Screamer Ward shows up, we just do our own thing until it goes away. Because unfortunately, we need a Screamer House to make more steel. Um, do we have any steel? Only 35. And we're going to need about 250 for the advanced forge. So that is rather unfortunate. But see, now we have a ton of iron over here. And we have... Oh, we already had clay. But now we have even more clay here. <laughs> So, yeah, with all this play, we should be able to get quite a nice amount of stuff done. Um, she's thinking of using a big forge over here. Until we have, just until we have enough steel. Because I also want to make a forge house. Even if the big forges or the advanced forges don't cause uh, lag or don't cause like heat map to go up. I really want to make sure we're able to actually go and have my hoe on me. Yeah. I want to make sure we can actually go and uh, get some stuff done. I also, I want to make the forges so far away from the base so we don't have to worry at all about them. Still growing. These grow really, really, really slowly. But as soon as they're all grown, I'll be able to make an even bigger farm. We do need to focus on making our like, farm plots of here. 
So the nice thing is now we have the clay, we just need the nitrate. And then we need to finish the water over here. Remember, every time, everywhere you see frames over here, it needs to be more water or more of these. And then it does, shouldn't matter if there's a gap over here, it should still give water for this, these plants over here growing. I'm just afraid this is going to cause some lag. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let me just quickly sort my inventory and I'll see you guys now. Okay, so now we're a little bit sorted over here. I think what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to go and cancel. It says completed. So it's just a bug where the trader doesn't really give it to me. So I'm going to go and say remove quest. And I want to see... Oh, nice, they took it out of my inventory. I was afraid that's going to be stuck there forever and then I wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, what I also want to do quickly... I can do that to make some space over there. Boom, and put that there. Okay, so we have a whole inventory full of stuff over here. Not that we're going to really, really need this at the moment. Uh, let me just see. Reloaded, reloaded, reloaded. Does this have a silencer on? Yes. Silenced, yes. And this one actually needs a silencer. Although I don't know if it actually really does need one or not. Uh, tools. Tools. We don't really have a ton of these, so I need to be careful. Um, I want to use this as one of my workbenches, but I also need to repair my currently failing one. So let's use that one. We'll use the crappiest qualities to go and make ourselves uh, or use it as tools in the work uh, stations. Uh, oh, there you go. I was about to say, where did it go? Okay, so this shovel needs repairs. Um, luckily, we can repair anything under level 41 without losing durability. So what I could do is see if we have another shovel. Just an iron shovel. Okay, so we don't have another shovel. Just, just repair it. Although, I mean, now we don't have any repair kits left, so I have to really be careful of how I do stuff right now. Uh, so we'll put that there, put that there. Can I fill up my bike, please? Okay. So we can either go for that little five fetch over there. It's just a fetch. And then that. Remember, now we get double rewards. But I think the first things first, we have to get that forge house going so we can focus on other things. So, do I have any blocks? I don't think so. I really don't have much of anything. Um, cement. We only have the 51. Jeez, this is why we need forges and stuff right now. I believe I shouldn't just hold off. I think let's go do the quest so we can level up. Get a skill point and then invest in this. Uh, where was it again? Forge. Forge. Advanced forge. Yeah. I want to invest in this over here. So it's just one point. But we need to level up because we don't have any skill points left. So we're just going to kill a few zombies and then come back to make sure that we can do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice, okay. We do have blocks, but we still have to make these blocks, or these concrete blocks into blocks. Concrete mix. Okay, um, technically I want to also go and upgrade the walls, but for, uh, for now, we need a forge house. What I'm going to do is we can make 500. Let's go for 150, 150, 150. And then we'll have a little bit left to be able to upgrade the base with. 150. And 150. I could use my glasses, my nerdy glasses, to do it faster. But now that's fine. As the amount of steel that I've already accidentally used on a base while upgrading like this could have given us already like 250, and we would have been able to go and make the advanced forgery. Look at that. For no reason at all, I put that there. Yeah, please tell me you guys are just wandering hordes right now. No, 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 not wandering hordes, just wandering zombies. Oh, I love this fire effect. Okay, so headshot, John. Headshots. Yeah, I haven't. I don't have any stairs yet, so the zombies go for any and everything they see. If I want them to pass greatly to me, I'm gonna have to put the stairs in as soon as possible. Okay, it's nice how many of them actually drop loot for us, and it was just cement. Nice. Yeah, the whole neighborhood is coming in for us right now. Look at this. They're so far away, but they heard the noise and commotion, so now they're coming over here. And the more I go after them like this, the more zombies from even further on see us, so we need to stick to the base as much as possible. Hello. I hear another zombie around the corner. Hello. There's one to the left as well. Okay, that should be it for now. Let's just quickly go and do this forge. Uh, well, we have to wait for the blocks anyways. Let's quickly do the fetch. I mean, we are going to get rewards from the trader, and I want to see if these uh, rewards or quests are also bugged. 
if these quests are also bugged, we might actually have a little bit of a problem on our hands. I mean, then we're going to have to definitely go and look for a new trader. That's a problem. We can't afford that. The nice thing is, even though we do have the concrete for, for the blocks now to make a forge house, we do still need a few levels to be able to go and make the advanced forge. So it's a good thing I'm doing this right now. As these power outages have me so frazzled. Every time I want to record, there's a power outage, and then when I'm too tired or I'm too busy, then there's no, then there is power. Constantly worried about power over here. Okay, now, ooh, this is going to get hectic. The zombie over there is going to see me soon. We're going to have to clear these places really cleverly, because I remember there's demons and stuff inside. Oh, there's dogs over there. Two dogs. I wonder what they're doing there. Okay, let me just fetch. It's a tier 5 fetch. Oh, I didn't realize it was tier 5. This might just get really, really dicey. It's going to be up here somewhere. I want to make sure we go right across it. And then just go up all we need and then go into that room. We do not have to face the whole place. Although, as soon as we start killing some zombies... Everyone's gonna wake up. At least it's not a fetch and clear because to clear right now it's gonna be suicide. Um, I wanna do this and move a little bit to the side of here so the zombies can't really get us that easily. It shows it's still up. Oh, there's a demon over there. One demon. Mutated stripper. Oh, that one's going to make all of them way faster. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. If I could just get to the stairs and go all the way to the roof, I think that's all we need. There's two demons over there. One, two. And then there might also be some demons over there in that box. Oh, um... See, what I could do... Let's put this down and then kill them. Hmm. This is going to be very dangerous. That, that strip over there needs to be the first to go because he's going to make all of them too fast. But I also do need to hit them with some laser tech, otherwise they keep uh, regening themselves. Do what I should probably do. It's my heart beating right now just because I know what's going to come. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just try and uh, crouch and do it. But then I might lose the element of surprise. If I can just crouch past them, we shouldn't have a problem. So I'm just going to do this. We do have the gun and stuff required on us right now. Don't tell me there's a demon or a vulture or something on this side. Remember, it just takes one zombie to notice you, whether it be a vulture or whatever. As soon as one zombie notices you, all of them wake up. My mouth is actually dry right now because of the stress. It's going to be up there. So I just want to make sure that the map shows we are on the same level as it. And then we're going to stack out with frames towards it. Come on. I just hope it's not on the very top of the roof and then there's going to be like demons and stuff there. Come on, come on. Where are you? Still up. It's a shame we can't reach there. Although I might be able to do this. This is super, super, super dangerous right now. I think it's more stressful than anything else. Okay, now we can start taking these apart. I don't want zombies from over there being able to follow us. This shouldn't fall as soon as I pick that up. Okay, it shows now we're on the same level. Still shows up. Okay, so it's this level over here. Oh, be careful, John. Um, I need to actually break into here. But I hope as soon as I hit this, the zombies from downstairs don't all of a sudden wake up. It looks like a cop. Yep, the money police been 3,500 HP. I just heard the sleeper inside wake up. 
hopefully they try another route if they were to wake up hopefully they try another route to us because i didn't even realize that i was picking up level five fetch or did i i i, I told myself if it's just a fetch it's fine but this is not fine They're definitely trying to get around now, damn it. Okay, so it's a little bit more that way then. I've got a bad feeling about this. I need to make sure that if they try and break out the windows over here, I'll be able to get them. And if a demon hits me with a fireball right now, I need to make sure we use water to get rid of the fire as soon as possible. It's right here somewhere. Right here. Okay, so all I need to do is break in here quickly. All the zombies from downstairs do seem like they went around. So as long as I can use my knife over here with some... Damn it, come on, don't break this thing. What I need to do is drink a coffee after I break this quickly. Come on, drink the coffee. Okay, laser tech. I needed to drink the coffee to make sure we actually get our stamina back right now. Oh crap. What is this? What is this? What is this? We have a breakthrough there in no time. I need to move up a little bit. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I just need to lure them back and forth a little bit so I can face them. Uh, but I need to heal right now as well. Master, we are not alone. Oh no, 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 no. So before that crop vomits, let's just do this. Pick that up. Oh, guys, this is stressful. This is so damn stressful. All it takes is a crop to vomit once and we're screwed. I wonder where's this fetch goes. I will it right there. If I can just hit them with this damn knife or the laser or whatever a few times, I should be able to do this. Um... Oh crap, if he sees me, I have a problem. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Make space, John. Make space. How are they going to go for the windows over here? Pick that up. Pick that up. Move in over here, John. Oh, crap. If just one of them decides to vomit, we have a problem. Nice. You fell down. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And I'm dead. No. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it, man. Guys, my mouth is so dry because of the painkillers I took. So it's hard for me to even speak right now. Man, let me just take a sip of water. Okay. That went bad. I can't do level 5s. I, I can't do level 5s. Too many demons. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so we have a vehicle over here. Now we're gonna have to go fetch our stuff and then just get the nope out of there. Vehicles. I hope I have enough gas in this thing. I'm so mad at myself for taking chances like that. And I know that it's uh, dumb to take those chances, but I still do it. I'm actually shaking right now because of all the adrenaline. <laughs> 
Damn, if the zombies underneath didn't wake up, we could have gotten a, a fetch quest and gone, uh, been out of there easy. Okay, 10% uh, gas, not good. I should probably put the motorcycle on me just in case I die again right now. Just so I can get back faster again. So this is the worst series or like when it comes to deaths, the most death that I've ever ever had in 7 days I Darkness Falls. Uh, I under leveled way too, oh no, I over leveled way too much and I'm not ready for the level I'm on. I just hope I can get my bags back fast. The cop was still alive so that's a big problem right now. If my bag somehow glitched to the floor then it's downstairs. Oh, we're gonna have a really really horrendous time on our hands. Where's my bike? Oh crap, all of the ones inside are awake now. You just grab that, put that over there. Nope, thank you. I'm trying to not wake everything, uh, everyone up, please. Ooh. Zombie vulture and a zombie just sleeping or chilling over there. Okay, now we have to go for all our stuff. Guys, if Feral Saints wasn't on, I, I bet you I wouldn't have died nearly as much as right now. It's just Feral Saints that's kicking my ass because it's just too tough. Okay, so that's a tough zombie. Just wait till someone's in my room. Okay, and I'm back. Is that a demonic zombie or is that a fire zombie? It's just a tough zombie. My bag looks like it might be on the inside. I swear, if it's on the inside of there, I'm screwed. There's no way I can get my bag it's on the inside of this building. And now there's zombies down below trying to get to me on top. So as soon as they interact with me over here, I'm screwed. It seems it's inside the building. As long as I can stop those zombies from down below getting to me right now, we should be okay. Nice, it's outside, nice. Yes. Unfortunately, we failed this quest. I don't even want to go for the final stash. Because this is way too dangerous of here. I'm thinking of just running away from you right now. Um, let's go do... Oh, pardon me. Let's go do this quest of here. Hopefully, that's going to be enough to level us up. Guys, I have a feeling there's still some zombies over here in this thing of... Uh, in this whatever this is. Air conditioner or whatever. There's still a ton of zombies in there. So, we need... Oil tech. If we want to do quests like this... We need guns that actually do damage. If I use a shotgun on these zombies right now, it's not enough. My guns are just way, way too weak. Even if I do headshots, after I hit them with laser tech, they still don't take much damage. I need to remedy that as soon as possible. Can we just try and pick this up? That up. Okay, let's go. Uh, wrong bike. We'll pick this one up. We'll drop this one and it's gone. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. Guys, these POIs look so awesome. I want to loot them. But every single POI, every single one, has a demonic zombie in it. Uh, I think mostly because it's level 5, that one had a ton of demonics. But even just sleepers, most of these POIs now are going to have sleepers in. So, And we're not ready with gear when it comes to that. So I need to really figure something out. The more quests we can do and the more rewards we get, coil tech we get, all that stuff, the better. But at the moment, we're even struggling just to do quests, so it's really, really tough. These should only be level 4s, so it should be really easy. But I'm going to have to really, even fetch quests for the trailers, it's going to have to be level 4. It can't be level 5s. Because if one demonic zombie wakes up due to feral sense, all of them wake up. I need to go into the knife skill, into the shotgun skill as well. If I can get my blade skill into the blade master skill a bit, we'll be set. We won't have to worry. For those of you who don't know, there's actually a knife skill, and then there's a blade master skill. I'm aiming for the bl uh, blade master. So if you look over here, blade weapons or blade master. If you go into this, and then also there's the cuts one, I think. No. Um, knife guy and blade master. Both of these make knives OP. So if you want to use this uh, knife I'm using right now, you have to make sure you can actually do that. Incoming 
Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, I forgot to set this up. Oh crap. That's not good. There's all the shutting down. Come on, drone. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need way more of this turret ammo. As you guys can see, it helps really nicely. When the zombies are, are busy down below, you can just come over here. There you go. So I need to make sure this one always, always, always has some ammo for us. Guard trap ammo. That's all we need. I'll be here if you need me. This drone is more of a liability than anything else. Okay, we have to go hand this in. The trader and accept the new quest. But this time we have to focus on level fours. Uh, level four fetches. Because I think level four clears will also have a demon zombie in there or two. As long as I can just quickly get my forge done, I think we'll just got a skill. Forge. Advanced forge. Now we can make the advanced forge with some steel. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to make one uh, one normal forge now until we can actually make the steel and then pick that up and we can make advanced forges from there. I'm still even gonna, my advanced forge is gonna be away from my base. Even if there's little to no heat map from it, all forges, everything that can possibly generate heat map, I'm gonna no get away ordering. from it. No thank you. Previous tier, fetch quest. Ooh, berry supplies might be nice. There might be That's some um, point in there. Fetches are Great way job. better, actually. Okay, so let's see. Nail bomb. Oh, you don't have the double because I died. Oh, okay, that sucks. Because I died, we can't Can get I the double rewards. You? Until that death thing over there goes away. Okay, you're outside, so I don't care about you right now. Well, hopefully you're not a wandering horde. Then, uh, then I'll have a little bit of a problem in my hands. Okay, so this episode sucked a bit. <laughs> I basically just showed off my clay. And I died. Hopefully you guys, I know there's a ton of you guys that are so super serious into this game that when I die, like, oh, come on, John. But guys, at the end of the day, it's about having fun. Obviously, it's all fun dying. But I mean, yeah, uh, we, I can't satisfy everyone's play tastes and stuff. So if you guys did like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comment, tips of feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for all this content. See you guys next time to keep trying to go for these double rewards. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.